Hello! Here I am at the Hall of Flame in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to talk to some chiefs and some firemen about all these fire trucks in this huge building. Come on, join me. Let's go. Okay, okay, here I am with... My name is Mark. Hi, Mark. Uh, hi, Avocado. It's good to have you here at the Hall of Flame. Oh. I'm the curator of education, so my job is to sort of teach people about all of this old firefighting stuff that we have here at ah. the world's largest museum of historical firefighting, which is the Hall of Flame Museum in Phoenix, wow. Arizona. This place is huge! It's pretty big. What are we in front of right here? All right, well, this one is really special for us here at the Hall of Flame because you've heard of George Washington, right? I hope, he, avocado. He's on the dollar bill? He's on the dollar bill, huh? and the reason he's on the dollar bill is he, they call him the father of our country. Yeah. He was the first president of the United States. Mm, yeah. This piece was built about seven years before he was born. Wow. So this is the oldest big piece that we have here at the wow. Hall of Flame Museum. Cool. And it's what they call a hand pumper. Now this one was uh, comes from England, and it <clears throat> the way it works is, do you know how they used to fight fires before they had this? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. You see this? Yeah. It's a bucket, right? A bucket. Big old leather bucket. They used to take a bunch of these and pass them down a line, and the last guy in line would get as close as he could to the fire, which usually Whoa. wasn't very close, and Oof. try to throw the bucket of water on the fire. Wow. Now, let me ask, Avocado, you think that was a good way to fight a fire? No, no. It was not a very good way to fight a fire, but it was all they had. They had to do oh. it. So what you would do, it, when they invented this, they still had the bucket brigade, but instead of the last guy in line, you know, trying feebly to throw his bucket of water on the fire, he would pour it in here. And that would fill up this part, which is called the tub, that held about 80 gallons of water. And then you'd have a crew of guys doing this, pumping up and down. And if you had them, you'd have a few more guys with their feet up on these pedals doing that stuff. All right, and then, there's a pump in here, and that would give you a jet of water out of this nozzle. Big old jet of water. You'd get about 60 gallons of water a minute onto the fire. Now, that may not seem like that much now, but in those days, compared to just trying to throw buckets of water on the fire, big, big leap forward. So this was really a big step forward in learning how to fight fires. Okay, okay, here I am with Hi, I'm Chief Montgomery with the Hall of Flame. Wow, a chief! <laughs> what are we in front of here? Uh, we're standing in front of one of the biggest fire trucks that we have in the entire museum, mm -hmm. and it's a rescue truck from New York City Fire Department. Wow! Yeah, this truck is very, very important. It was one of the first trucks to arrive at 9-11. It was, 9-11 uh, was uh, an important day, and many, many firefighters gave their lives that day, so we respect this truck a great deal. Yeah, we learned about that in school. Yeah. It's so sad. Yes, sir. How are you today, Avocado? I'm doing great. I'm oh, so glad you came to the Hall of Flame. Yeah, me too. I actually get to be the chief. It's so cool. Or retired chief, sorry. Yeah, retired chief. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mark again, and here we are in front of a really cool, beautiful fire truck. Check it out. All right, so Avocado, this one, when the little kids come through here, they always say this looks like what Cinderella went to the ball on. So sometimes yeah. we call it the Cinderella carriage. Wow. This one comes from 1870. Whoa. It was built in New York City, 
and it was for a fire department in Connecticut called oh. the Hotchkiss Fire Department oh, in Connecticut. Yeah, and it really is supposed to look a little bit like a big old princess carriage. Wow. And the way, the thing about this is, you couldn't fight a fire with this to save your life. This, its whole job was to be in parades and look pretty. Wow. And it was very good at that job. Cool. When these wheels turned as it went down the street in a parade, it would turn this belt, <gasps> and this turned that inner cylinder. Wow. See? And a lot of times in those days, parades would be at night. Cool. And so you might have, lights in these lanterns with different colored glass wow. and that would create all these beautiful sparkly twinkly lights wow. and that would you know give you kind of a light show and then up top there we got a, a guy who you might uh, know if you like mythology his name if you were a greek you'd call him hermes, hermes. if you were a roman you'd call him mercury but he wow. was the messenger of the gods so he was fast right wow, if you're yeah. the messenger of the gods you better be fast so uh, he's up there because it's sort of like these guys, in a way, sort of bragging, saying that's how fast we are. It's like we got wings on our feet. Cool. That's how fast we get to a fire. Wow. And so that's what he's doing up there. And this would go down the street, and they'd pull this down the street in a parade, and it would make a lot of noise, and they'd all be wearing their most beautiful uniforms, and everybody would cheer for them. Wow. And that's what, especially volunteer firefighters, they love to be in parades. So ah. There's nothing they like better than being in parades. And even today, when they have fire trucks, they, they're always, uh, you'll always see firefighters uh, getting those trucks into the parades and being very proud to drive down the street. Okay, wow, thank you so much. Great to have you. Wow. Hey, it's a Dalmatian. It's a fireman's dog. That's so cool. Okay, let's check out the horn. Here at the Hall of Flame, we have an unbelievable selection of fire helmets. We have fire helmets from all over the world for folks to see. We can, you see we have helmets here from Hungary, from Japan, from the United States, from Peru, from all countries represented. And basically, every helmet is meant to do one thing, protect the firefighters as they're entering dangerous situations. Sometimes the danger wasn't only smoke and fire, it was things falling around the fire ground, like parts of the building that were coming off or other things. So the a helmet offered them sometimes eye protection, but oftentimes head protection. It's dangerous to be a firefighter. Okay, here I am with a fireman's bell. So let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> It's so cool! Yeah! Okay, here I am with Chuck again, and he's going to tell us about the Hall of Flame Fire Museum. Hi, Avocado. Hi. We are uh, standing here in our fire station here at the Hall of Flame, and it's just like an old firehouse was back in the 1800s. Yeah. Looked just like it. So we had behind us, we have the wagons and the steamers, and even a horse. Do you know what yeah. a horse is? Yeah, right there. Yes, <laughs> amazing. So that's how they got to fires back then. They would be, wow. they were pulled by horses, big, strong horses. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Amazing. This fire museum has been here since 1961. Whoa, way before I was born. Yeah, and guess what? It opened four days after I was born. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And uh, it's been here. It's the largest fire museum in the entire world. Wow. Yeah. And well, I'm here. You're here. <laughs> we're really happy that you came by oh. today. And hopefully you're going to tell lots of folks about us so you can come and see us. Yeah, I'll tell all my fans and hopefully they all come to the Hall of Flame. Yeah. Yes, we're really, really, really nice and cool in here in the hot days, aren't we? Yeah, it's yeah. hot outside. It's hot outside, 116 today. <laughs> and in here it's a nice 70 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for giving me the tour and I hope everybody enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello! Well, I heard that really well. <laughs>